So, welcome back to Lightwave Guru. Today in the morning, Mahmoud Atashi, a user, a Lightwave user, uh, have a question. And the question was why I can or in what way I can uh, grow instances per ID. Yes, with the instancer. The thing is, if a new user or a beginner use the instance generator from Lightwave, he play with a tool. And in the beginning, you would grow an object on a plane, for example. Yes, that's my example scene, and I show you now the way to order uh, objects by ID uh, with an uh, instance generator. The normal way is that the, a beginner play with the tool in the following way. You load a plane, take an object, and play then with the instance grow here. With that here, yeah, with the instances. In the moment we have here one instances. And then he play with that. Yes, and he see, oh, yeah, it grow exactly from one poly to the next and I have order by ID. Yes? And you can do it in real time by hand here in the preview from the instancer tool, yes? But then, as next step, he would animate that. And then we go to big troubles. And the reason is that the instance numbers here, you cannot animate. You have no button to animate it in that way. So only what you can do is to say, okay, we make here uh, 100 instances and then we use a wait tool. And the wait tool have a problem. If, the, if you use the wait tool and you animate it with weights, you see it here, it will only random uh, grow up, yes? And if you not need it, if you would uh, grow it in that way I show in the first here, you have a big problem normally. But I show you today a hack, then you can uh, uh, animate it in uh, with the wait function in the same way I show here, yes? And it's not a secret, it's uh, a little bit work, but it's simple in the end. So, now for that I change here my uh, viewport to texture solid wireframe and then I step here to the frames. And what you see now is the image sequence and it's that image sequence you can use to grow your instances in the right way. Yes, it's a simple image sequence. And I can now put this image sequence in the instance await tool and uh, show every object uh, with that way his own idea. Yes, so every from that quads here is later an uh, idea. And the way is very simple you create that image sequence for first. Yes. Then you load it in uh, in the image generator here, your sequence, you have your sequence here. You see it here? I hope you see it. Yes. And then you can take that image sequence in the weight channel here in the instancer, in the weight channel. So let the instance here in one, it's no problem. Let the weight uh, to 100% and then go to the texture channel. And in my case, the projection is UV, and the UV map name is Quad UV. And now I lo uh, load in my image sequence uh, in the in the weight uh, option. Yes, here. So now I have here my weight, uh, uh, my image sequence in the weight channel. You see it here. And if I, uh, if you now take a look, oops. How is my, uh, who is my object? My first object. Yeah, the reason is clear. The first image is totally black. So uh, you can see uh, you have no object ID. Yeah, you cannot translate the object ID. But if I now step... Oh, cool. <laughs> okay, take it here, not to one, take it to 100. Yes, that's the maximum. Sorry. So I go back. And if I now step with uh, my... I hope you can see it in my timeline. Every object will generate in the right way uh, if you do it by hand, yes? So we make quick a, quick, a preview. And uh, then you have hacked that in that way, yes? So we can uh, 
uh, uh, hack that function. I think uh, it, the best way is that we become in the instance a simple function to uh, animate the objects by, by object ID, but if it's not possible for some reasons, I don't know why, you can hack it in that way. Yes? Okay, the image, uh, the preview running, we are ready in some seconds, and then I can show you the, the, the image sequence uh, in real time. Then you see it would work in that way. And if you needed that your instances grow exact uh, in, uh, in, the in a place you need, you can uh, realize it with image sequences. Yes? You see it's in function. I know it's a little bit more complicated as you use a simple uh, Z button here, but it's in function. So, one more time. You create the image sequence. What I can show is here another look for the object preview, then you can see it better. We make here front wireframe. So and now you can see that every uh, every instance grow exact in the position you have in the image sequence. Uh, a black or a white field, yes? And that's the secret of the that hack I show you here. It's uh, if you imagine that a very simple principle and you must not grow uh, exactly the in your image sequence in that way, yeah? You can uh, paint other uh, other forms if you if you want, yeah? And uh, for example the light wave logo or whatever and then the instance will only generate in that position. So I do now, I stuff now the scene and uh, load it up uh, to my server and uh, drop it under this video as link. And you can uh, download the scene and study it. Yet? Yes? In that way you can hack uh, the, the function uh, with the instance numbers here. Yes? So that's all what I showed today. See you later.